One. Hey, everybody. We are here at uh, Music Midtown 2017. This thing has been rolling for years. Uh, I feel like I've been here for years. Um, and we are here for Radio 105. What was, your, what was your highlight of the weekend so far? Highlight of the weekend? So, you know what? Last <clears throat> night it was... Jude and I. Wait a minute now. But still Wait hasn't gone on. Weezer, Weezer did a cover of Outcast that I did not see oh, coming. Oh, shit. And I was what like, did they do? They, they did Hey Ya. Wow. The whole oh, song. That's and I, everybody was like, when they started it, we thought it was just going to be a couple of bars. And then, like, they kept going with it. And everybody was like, oh, you know. So, so that was pretty cool. Um, I saw this band, Judah and the Lion, that was uh, had a pretty ridiculous crowd. So did I. They were fucking great. I'm, I'm pretty pumped on seeing a band called Bastille. Oh. Um, nah. Are they overrated? Yeah, overrated. overrated. No pretty good? Pretty uh, Yeah. All right. Well, um, who do you guys want to see? Who have you seen? Did you Were you able uh, to catch we, any we sets? Did, we, got, we got here just time to see these guys. Okay. I'm going to go see Haim in a minute. Okay. Um, yeah, and Tudor. You know, we, we don't get to see them, but we can hear them. Right. Through the wall, which is... Not the same. It's kind of funny. Like, these trailers, like, physically move when some of these bands are playing. It's a little weird, I think. Um, how loud, how loud and rock and roll it is, you know? <laughs> Just depending on how loud and rock and roll it is, you know? I mean, there's there's a lot going on, though. Are there, are there any bands that you guys wanted to see that were yesterday that you, you weren't able to catch? Bruno Mars, for sure. Dude. I heard he just killed it. I mean, but it was like fireworks every... Like every song, every literally, time. the guy's setting off fireworks. First song in, he set off like three like massive displays of fireworks, and I was like, "This guy's not me-. like." Was we, that supposed to happen now? We played, we played uh, a festival in Germany at the same time as Ram, Ramstein. Ram, how do you say it? Ramstein. Ramstein. <laughs> and they like we the we we, we were going on, and we're like, we're headlining this stage. It's so cool. All, everybody in Germany wanted to see Ramstein, and like, and they started their set with what felt like a nuclear explosion. I mean, we were like, we don't have a fucking chance in hell. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 we bought a backdrop. We got a backdrop. Yeah. And we got, like, at least one strobe. Really hard on yeah. yeah. He said. We put together a really cool vibe here. All right, guys. I hope you, you couldn't like hear it. the first half hour of our set because their fireworks were so loud, and that was the beginning of the set. What? Yeah. He so said uh, we got pretty close to the 21 Pilots crew because we were out on tour with them and a couple of their people were here and they were saying that because they headlined last year, I think in the same time that Bruno did and yeah, uh, yeah. they brought eight trucks and 21 Pilots puts on a pretty crazy production yeah. show, you know. Guess how many Bruno brought last night? How many? 20. Tw- 24. Oh what? God. And they were saying that that's like triple what anybody else has brought in production. Oh my God. We, we did a, when we first started out, we did a few uh, like stadium shows with Muse in the UK, and we literally our touring experience was a splitter van and our like three crew members, and then suddenly we were like parked in the corner of this vast car park with just a sea of trucks. But I guess when you've got flying aliens and I was say, this is UFOs, drones, the drones tour. I th- no, I think it was one. It was before but they had like a giant robot that came on stage and then at the end like a massive light bulb came out and it shat this acrobat and she was dancing around and stuff it was, oh, it was cool. I know I know that one too I know what you're talking about the, the, the drone <laughs> shat an acrobat I'm sure it it's right quite now, an accurate portrayal though. I was gonna say but I have a feeling somewhere Matt Bellamy got, is like that is not night, what it looked like <laughs> he's, he's probably broken hearted right now because it probably wasn't his vision I don't I don't think but you know they did the drones tour also where they had things flying around and I don't know that they were fully in control of them because I swear a couple times you saw them almost like hit people in the audience and people were like ducking (laughs) you know (laughs) part part of the fun yeah yeah Um, on the subject of shows and this is a, a group answer here is is there anybody that you have seen on festivals like this? Because you guys have all played, you know, enough festivals. Has there anybody set that you've caught and been like, just totally overwhelmed? Like this band was so much bigger and better than than you thought. On on the opposite scale of that, at Glastonbury, I saw Sam for his show. Yeah. But it wasn't like it blew my mind because it was so like intimate and small and it was oh, all really? It was really like it's electronic music but it was really live and his voice was really beautiful and it was really sad and it was the Sunday at a festival that I'd been at for four days so it probably that probably added to it as well in terms of me being like <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I don't know what have you, have you what have you guys seen I think for me it was uh, we, we booted Firefly this year in oh um, Firefly's big Weezer was like the 8 8pm 8, 8 slot in the main, on the main stage and 
you just don't realize how many hits they have yeah. until you Last go to their night, show yeah. and they're Last just song. like every single song hit, like people hit, are just hit. screaming yeah. uh, and they're you know and their performance is just kind of they kind of stick to themselves yeah and uh you know but everybody is just going crazy so i was i was blown away by that by that set. kendrick at coachella was pretty amazing as well sorry less, less less production more um the bass was so loud i saw the prodigy once and i thought i had a, colla- oh. I, I had a collapsed lung it was just so much sub you like, saw the prodigy i love I mean, the I'd, prodigy I'd, I'd, i've, I've never been down. able to see them oh it's, it's intense a collapsed lung that's how i expect <laughs> it to feel actually when <laughs> i when much. i see the prodigy that and i expect like the top half of my head to kind of just maybe open up a little bit from the weight <laughs> the sound waves just kind of peel it back a little um any other answers any other bands that you've I, seen um, I saw uh, Justin Timberlake. I was really drunk, <laughs> but I think it was the most fun I've ever had. I don't think it was the best gig I've been to, but it was the most dancing I've ever done. Okay. And you might be able to tell from my manner I'm not a natural dancer. Yeah. We've, had a, we've had a really strange festival season in terms of like bands that we've played between. Like on one weekend, there was one show where we were, we were after On The Jewels and before Frank Ocean. And then the next weekend, we were like before Rod Stewart. And what? Yeah, it was just really, we had like a really odd, They're like, odd summer. Bastille. And then there was another show we did Bastille. where we were, it was us, it was us, then Sia, and then Justin Bieber. We were like, okay, cool. <laughs> we did one by a mile was we played in Russia, we were on before Corn. So there's this, 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 like. After the Yeah, so there's this, like, about a thousand angry metal heads at the front staring at us, like, you're not Corn. <laughs> yeah. What you guys do with corn? Like, was, good God! The festival doesn't exist anymore. Mm, <laughs> yeah. That might be saying something. All right, all right. But I like also. Last time we were here a couple of years ago, we played b- between Lana Del Rey and Eminem. And that was pretty cool. Eminem show was a bit like that. It was like I kind of forgot how many Smash. massive, massive Eminem tunes he has, has. So many hits that he can only play one verse of each one and still doesn't get through them all. It's a medley. <laughs> it is. A- <laughs> it's a. <laughs> I don't know if he'd call it that, but you know. <laughs> yeah, he's probably, again, probably thinking, no, it's, it's not exactly what I had planned. Um, so it, it, just on the subject of festivals, like not what you have planned, have, have you guys ever been in a, a live situation at a show where something was not supposed to happen? Uh, because again, I'm going to say Muse. You know how they have another member of the band. They have a fourth guy. Yeah. He was supposed to come out of the ground. I swear to God, he was like... The only you saw was the top of his head the whole show he was like a gopher in the middle of the stage it looked really <laughs> oh. awkward and I was like that's, that's not supposed to be he's, he's meant to be down there well they just want his head yeah, just yeah. his head showing that's <laughs> you're not a full member he, yet. you stay time. there <laughs> <laughs> have you guys had a situation where so many yeah, something misfired so many. oh really I got electrocuted on stage once and all the front row were laughing at me because I think my face did a bit of a palsy. Um, <laughs> um, what else? I fall over all the time. I get really nervous, so I try and climb up on stuff and then I get stuck. I once got stuck lying on my front on a really high speaker and our tour manager had to like... I've like wondered about up. that. Like when yeah. you're like, yeah, this is going to be awesome. And you turn like, around and you look at the crowd and you're like, I am too far up. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> how long can I sell this out by lying here? Because that's not normal. Um, we were just earlier talking about a time in in Alabama where it was so sunny that our tour manager had to come out because I was getting so burnt and lather me down with sun cream. Mid, <laughs> mid, mid, mid televised set. gig. That's rock star <laughs> right there. Fuck. The, li- the <laughs> list goes on and on. That's just me. That's not not to mention these fuckers. <laughs> wow. Well, we, we had a guy at, at Firefly this year. I don't and this is a uh, I don't know if this is a PG radio station, but. It's um, never a PG radio station. We, so. we, we were we were doing uh, "Lose Yourself" by Eminem. We were like just had, like on an acoustic stage, probably like a couple thousand people or whatever. Right. We brought this dude out to freestyle against Brian, which was sometimes we do during our set if we, if the mood strikes us, or whatever. Bring him up. Come to find out, he's very happy. He's feeling really really good um, <laughs> on something or maybe multiple things, and all of a sudden we see like some dads in the front row covering their daughters eyes up and um we're like what the heck's going on because we're just like rocking out after the set our uh, tour manager and front of house guy come over and says uh ross w- had exposed himself <laughs> to, the, to oh, the whole crowd the for the first audience. like two minutes until his friends got his attention and it told him to pull it was it on purpose had he done it on purpose or was it he was come so out, he was so he was so fucked that he didn't even it, know it, it, that's what it felt like to us um, what's funny is that his rapper name was little ross <laughs> no, no. Just saying. Just saying. Oh my it's a coincidence. god! 
Wow. Um, Sorry for all the little girls that had to see that. And, yeah, and that, the little, that's a little... Everybody, actually. It's a little awkward, because that's not really <laughs> your style at yeah. all. No. I don't uh, really. That's brutally <laughs> awkward. All right. So, um, on, on the flip of that, like, shows that have gone really, really well. Like, you're thinking, this is going to be terrible for one reason or another, and then everything comes together last minute, and you're like, wow, that, that was awesome. That was perfect. Generally, we think it's going to be a car crash most nights. So if it's not, then <laughs> I was about to say it's a bonus. <laughs> I feel like that's almost that's like a majority of shows. It's like you're kind of just scrambling through and hoping everything turns out, and then at the end, it's like, wow, that was that was awesome. It's okay, like, it all just kind of like so evens you always out and, yeah. assume it's going to. be Well, there's worse. always those little things that happen um, that you can like get distracted by, whether it's like technical right. or whatever. Um, but in the end, you know, it's just, you're putting on a show and. As long as the fans are having fun, you're having fun. Okay, okay. Now, this one I can ask both of you guys, uh, because I think you're both at that point. I know you guys are recording, because you've been posting up a bunch of stuff. Um, and are you guys working on new material? Because I feel like you've been all over the road. Have you had time? Yeah, ish. I mean, uh, we're actually, just for the first time, doing a UK thing with a band called Kaleo. I don't know if you guys know them. Oh, so uh, familiar with them. When are you, when you, when you in the UK? Uh, this October, November. Nice. Um, so we, we, we should probably get some advice for you guys for UK crowds and uh, Europe, but um, and we're kind of don't expose yourself. <laughs> <laughs> don't bring little rocks. Think, on I, stage. I don't know if that's acceptable anywhere, but yeah. <laughs> we're full of good advice like that. So you come to For us. Some reason yeah. UK crowds just love jumping like more than anywhere else. In the I've world. heard this too. Yeah. They just like to just jump. Everyone bounces. They just yeah, just try and get them going for that. They'll be happy with Larry. <laughs> done and done I love how you use the most British expression as well at the end of that <laughs> happy Larry who the fuck is Larry there, there's an expression <laughs> you can use to fit in with the locals there yeah, you go exactly. so you a little something else there okay so yeah so it's kind of just extending this record a little bit more for us because we're, we're trying okay. to get over there for the first time and, and going to radio and stuff over there for the first time so okay. it's kind of a new process for us but um, we're, we're obviously it's very small you'll find it very small yeah you can get drives. from one side of the one, like from the top to the bottom in no time that's awesome yeah, it, it makes American. It like it's the the antithesis of American touring. Obviously, really? they're very different size. Cover the whole thing in like a yeah. couple of days. If you have like a two hour drive, <laughs> if, we, if we have like a two three hour drive, we are furious. That's like an epic, really, like slog for us. Yeah. How would you compare it to like the American crowds? Oh, the crowds. Um, maybe less chatty. Like as in, yeah. I always find that we, we when we came, first came to the states, like there's. Uh, uh, in a really nice way like a, like it, particularly at smaller shows you end up having like conversations with members of the crowd who oh, yeah. want to put their point across not like a get off the stage point hopefully but like or a, showing just, you his junk like, yeah, like yeah, free yeah. bird like play free, free free bird and all that stuff so <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, now where where are you guys with uh, this new album are you almost done with it um, we have from when we get back to the end of the year right yeah, booked out to finish Stuff. Wow. But I'm always really optimistic with timings and I'm always wrong. Mm -hmm. So Okay, okay. Yeah. But there should we've like just finishing a mixtape and uh, this record and we have another song coming out in a month or so. Um, yeah, so Okay. Is it, is it when is it? Yeah, I'm not allowed to talk about it. He's like, <laughs> shut up, yeah. shut up, Dan. All right. Um, okay, well, we're going to wrap things up because I know you guys got to get on stage. Um, and I'm probably taking from your time to see Heim. So, um, again, we appreciate Judah and the Lion, Bastille, a face off here. Uh, very cool. We're backstage, Radio 1057, Music Midtown. Bye. Thanks for having us. Peace. Thank you.